Hello slot car fans, Doug here with an update on the scratch building, the slot car scratch building projects. As you can see here in front of you is the Ferrari. I have, as you saw in the last video, this was kind of being kind of my guinea pig, the first one I started messing with. And um, I put the new, the new wheels and tires that are a little bit taller, they're actually the same size basically as the or the outside diameter of these is the same as that of the wheels that came in the plastic car kit so it fills up these wheel wells much better and, and looks much nicer now I've also gone ahead and done the body mounting using the uh, you know the, the body mounting stuff that H&R provides with this chassis set so I haven't dressed out the body yet or you know put any of the rest of the details on it but I've just got it to the point now where I guess it could be test run on a track if I had an analog track. Right now I'm set up digital. I do have an analog power system, but I just uh, haven't had any reason or haven't been, uh, haven't wanted to swap it out yet. That's what I'm trying to say. So that is how this one's looking so far. I've got uh, a couple different ideas for it. It looks like it's going to take a lot of hacking on this interior tray for me to be able to make that fit in there. I'm going to have to cut off you know, quite a bit of the bottom of it. may not even be able to keep these door panels either because of the way the body mounts as I showed you with these uh, little clips that slide in from the side. But who knows, I may just have to butcher it up. I may be able to figure out a way to make, it, make as much of it, uh, try to keep as much of it in there as I can. And then finish dressing out the body. And basically this one is going to be the Playmate for that stock car I showed you. And these are both 124th scale. So although the stock car is a little bit bigger still, it'll be alright. It'll be my, my first pair to race analog with, uh, with these slot car chassis, or these universal chassis. And then, oh, a couple other things too on this car. I think I'm going to be able to figure out how I can drill some holes through through these uh, well these chrome pieces that I screwed in because there's going to be some more glass that, or plastic glass that goes over it. So I'm going to drill some holes in here, see if I can figure out a way to glue some uh, light bulbs, some little LED bulbs in there to get headlights. And I may be able to do the same thing with the back of it too. I don't have a whole lot of room to show you, but uh, I don't know if it's focusing that close very well. But anyway, the, the tail lights look like they could be, I can probably drill them out before I glue in the red lenses. And I can probably make some red tail lights on this too. So that's going to be pretty neat. And then we get down to the next stuff. Showed you guys the uh, auto scale auto chassis, and I adjusted it for this Corvette body that I was showing you guys in the last video. I've adjusted the length of the chassis for this, and uh, looks like it's going to work pretty good. The wheels are sticking out just a little bit. I have some little spacers in here I can take out, and that should uh, should solve that problem. But I haven't messed with that yet. If worse comes to worse, I'll just leave it a little wide. But the main issue I'm having here with this one is that, uh, well, no, this one actually would adjust correctly. Okay, I'm sorry, that's the other one. Boy, you can sure hear that magnet pulling the car onto the track. It's got stout magnets in these things. But anyway, I think that's going to be pretty cool looking. Once it gets all fixed up. And it's obviously going to stick to the track like crazy until I pull those magnets out. So let's see what we can do with this one. And then we got one more I haven't shown you yet. Oh, wait a minute. That, uh... Corvette kit that I was just showing you, that was this kit here. That's where that body came from. It was a, 
old a, a scrap kit that I bought at the hobby store that had already been started and missing some parts. So I got it real cheap. But the next thing we got going here for that other scale auto chassis is going to be this guy. A silly old Chevy truck. <laughs> and here's the chassis. I've already pre-adjusted it. And here comes the body. I just kind of tack glued a couple of these pieces together so I could test fit it on the chassis. And uh, it looks like I'm either going to have to have it with a jacked up rear end like that or I'll end up having to do a bunch of carving to make some room for the rear wheels to fit down in these wells because it's uh, it's not wide enough in here. I'll have to basically cut this section out and a little bit here so that the tire has room in there. But uh, other than that, it's looking like it's working pretty good. I think that's going to be pretty neat as well. It's going to be crazy to have this have an old Chevy truck racing around the track. Now this is the one I did run into some issues with though because I had to shorten this chassis so much that uh, basically I, I ran out of screw hole room here. When it's at, at the right place I can only put uh, one pair of screws in to hold it and I really need to get at least another pair of screws here so I'll probably have to disassemble it and then slot this out a little bit further so I'll have room to put a, put that other pair of screws in. And so when that is done, we're going to have the truck racing the Corvette. And these look like they're going to be pretty easy to make digital, so I may just go digital right off the bat with these two. But anyway, that's where we're at so far. Hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.